Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to make a 2D clicker style game in Unity and welcome to episode 8. So this time we're going to carry on looking at a couple of sound effects. So we're going to add in different sound effects and the ability to change our sound effects. We'll look at uh, some background music and we'll also look at backgrounds themselves. So I'm going to start with the actual background itself. And a lot of people use something called the Asset Store in Unity, and it is a fantastic place. The Asset Store is your friend. You can get to it by clicking Window and going to Asset Store right there, or holding Control, pressing number 9, and it will take you to this window. I'm not going to explain the Asset Store too much. I do have you know, some videos on the Asset Store and all kind of things you can get in there. Uh, if you fancy checking them out, please do. They're in the playlists. And the idea of background could be done in a couple of different ways. You could, for example, just have a picture, an image representing this 2D kind of blue screen background, or you could have an actual skybox. Now, a skybox is this, this whole blue, that is technically a skybox. So if we go to the asset store and type in skybox, and because we're only doing it free, you know, everything we do completely free on this channel. And if you click it, you'll see all these different ones right here. And by all means, choose any that you would like. So I've gone with this one, Farland Skies. And obviously, all credit goes to the original creator of this. So this guy right here, or girl, whoever it may be. But they have created this, and it is on the asset store. And some of you may have already noticed that this particular one here is what is in the thumbnail of this series. So all you would need to do is import or download and it will bring it into your project file. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and I have it right here to save time so you guys don't have to sit through me downloading it. Now to change it, what we'll do is we'll go to Window, Lighting and Settings. Now, depending on what version of Unity you're using, that may be a little bit different. It may just have lighting straight in the Windows menu. It may not. It may be just like mine. Okay, so what you need to do is the only thing we're really interested in because it is that basic, this game, it's not really a 3D environment to be using. We just need to attach a skybox material. We can do that by clicking the little button here. And we can select one of these. So I'm going to go with Sunset, which now starts looking like the thumbnail itself. So if we close that and close that and press play, you can see that it now has a bit more depth to it. There is more to the game rather than just a terrible blue screen. And you can obviously choose any one you want. So to close the asset store, click on the tab, right click, and close tab. So now let's carry on looking at those sound effects. So I'd like a sound effect for, in this case, selling a cookie. So what I'm going to do is in my audio folder, I am going to drag and drop these two cache sounds and you can get them on the website for free. Head over there, downloads and assets. And what we're going to do is every time we click sell cookie, we're going to play one of these two sounds and we're going to randomize which one that's going to be. So in order to get that working, we first need to go on main camera and on button chime, let's hold control, press D to duplicate, F2 to rename and we'll have cache 001 and then we drag and drop that over here. Uh, I'll increase the volume to, let's increase it to one for now. And hold control, press D to duplicate again. And then let's rename to cache 002 and drag and drop the cache over here. So in order to get this working correctly, we need to go into our scripts folder. And if we remember, this button has the button object attached to it. And in that button object, we have cell cookie, which is right there. And we can get to it by double clicking right here. Now, the idea of what we're going to do here, while uh, this loads up, I'll briefly explain. We're going to create it so as each sound is loaded in, and then the script will decide which one it wants to play whenever we sell the cookie. So it could, for example, have sound number one, and then it'll have sound number one again, then number one again, or number two, and then two again, then one again, and it could switch back and forth. So it is going to be completely random which one we use. So to do that, let's add in, um, if I spell it right, public audio source, and let's call it cache one. And then again, public audio source cache two. 
And now we're going to have an integer which will generate which one we're going to play. So public int generate, um, I'll just put tone, generate tone. So now what we do is when we click the button itself right here, we need to make generate tone equals to one or two. So generate tone equals random dot range in brackets one comma and here we need to put the maximum value now it's worth noting the random dot range is a little bit funny at times and it never generates whatever we'll put as the maximum number and since we only want two we will put the maximum number as three because it will never generate that three it'll either generate one which is the minimum or two so close bracket semicolon and now what that means is that once we have generated that number, we then have to basically play the sound. And we have to make sure we're careful where we put this because we only want this to play if we actually sell a cookie. So it's no good putting our following if statements in this section where we're not able to sell. We need to put it in the else section down here. And we'll do it before we change the cookie count. So we'll go if and in brackets, generate tone equals one, then open curly bracket, and all we'll do is cache one dot play, open close bracket, semicolon, and we've got the close curly bracket to close that if statement, so then basically do the same again for number two. If generate tone equals two, then cache two dot play nice and simple semicolon and save that script so you can see what's happening here we're generating every time we click generating a number one or two and then if we have enough to actually sell the cookie we're playing one of these two sounds so if we head back into unity and see if there's any errors nope nothing we just need to reattach these two variables so cache 001 and cache 002 and I'm going to save my scene there just in case and let's press play so now we can make cookies and let's see if we can tell the difference between the sound selling cookies there we go so you can see the sounds are completely random you will because we only have two you may get um a sequential of like one 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 and then suddenly a two then one 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 then suddenly two 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 if you have more sounds it's more likely to be a bit more random between them so next what we'll do is let's add in some background music now the whole process works kind of the same as what we've done with audio before so i'm just going to drag and drop this bgm into unity and this itself is, I think it's about two minutes long, maybe a little bit longer. And the basis of what you really have to do is you can either attach it to the main camera or you can attach it to a new game object. And I'm going to attach it to a new game object. So right click on main camera, create empty, rename, and let's simply call it BGM. And then attach onto there. And I'm going to change the volume in this to be quite low. So 0.1. We need to make sure we have play on awake ticked because we do want it to start as soon as we start and we also want it to loop so once again if you really want to use this this is just something i threw together really quickly in fl studio uh, but if you want to use it it is on the website same as ever in the downloads and assets so let's press play and yeah you can hear it in the background there so there we go Perfect. So I think the idea of what we're doing here is creating different kind of feel to the game. You don't always necessarily have to keep everything static. For example, you could change the selling sound as much as you would want. And another example, if we go to the settings and change the background to midnight, then yet again, we have a different kind of feel to what the game is. now. I actually kind of like that much more than I do the thumbnail for the series. So it's up to you whether you want to have that, but I am going to change it back to, I forgot what it was. It was sunset, wasn't it? So there we go. We'll have it as that one. So 
sound effects are something that there is a lot of, even in something so simple as this. And I don't think we've quite finished with uh, sound effects because there is more I do want to add to this. So I think next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to add in some more sound effects. For example, if we don't have enough to sell the cookie, and when we make cookie, we'll have like a chomping sound or a machine, something, you know, just some kind of sound effect. And what I'm also going to start looking at is coding random problems into the game, which cause you to lose money or stock. So for example, let's say factory fire causes you know, 100 cookies to burn to a crisp, something like that. So that's all going to be done via coding. And that's going to be not too complicated, but there's going to be kind of... Uh, methodical thinking in the next episode to actually get these random problems to occur correctly. So guys, until that next episode, remember if you want any of these uh, sounds right here, download an asset section on the website and you can get them there absolutely free. So yeah, until next episode guys, thank you very much for watching.